A staggering 7 billion miles from the Sun lies a mysterious celestial body that once held the title of the ninth planet in our solar system. Today, Pluto is recognized as a trans-Neptunian object. Not long after its reclassification, NASA's New Horizons probe made its way to this enigmatic world, revealing astonishing data. For the first time, NASA presented authentic images of Pluto. Come along as we discover one of the most fascinating wonders of the cosmos. Today, we will uncover the images released by NASA and what enigmatic secrets they hold. Once considered the ninth planet in our solar system, Pluto has been a subject of debate among astronomers and space enthusiasts. Pluto is located in the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond Neptune filled with small, icy bodies. It orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 3.6 billion miles, taking approximately 248 Earth years to complete one orbit. Pluto was demoted to a trans-Neptunian object in 2006. Ironically, it was around this time that NASA's New Horizons probe reached this distant, dark world, revealing it to be far more fascinating than anyone had imagined. New Horizons Probe In 2006, NASA launched the New Horizons Probe, a pioneering mission to explore the far reaches of our solar system. The spacecraft's primary target was Pluto, a celestial body that had long been shrouded in mystery. Traveling up to 36,000 miles per hour, New Horizons covered the vast distance to Pluto in about nine years, finally reaching its destination in 2015. Equipped with a suite of advanced scientific instruments, including cameras, spectrometers, and particle detectors, New Horizons was designed to capture detailed data about Pluto's composition, atmosphere, and moons. On July 14, 2015, New Horizons provided the world with its inaugural close-up views of Pluto, skimming a mere 7,800 miles, 12,500 kilometers, above the icy expanse of the dwarf planet. The treasure trove of data amassed during this encounter is still under scrutiny by the mission team leading to a series of captivating revelations, as recent findings indicate. Before New Horizons' groundbreaking mission, humanity had never glimpsed Pluto's surface up close. Suddenly, a vibrant and seemingly dynamic world was unveiled to scientists. The images showcased a diverse topography, hinting at unanticipated geological activity. While New Horizons couldn't probe Pluto's core directly, its instruments provided data that offered insights into the planet's composition. The derived model suggests that Pluto possesses a solid core approximately 1056 miles thick and a blend of materials and elements. Along with this core lie layers of water, ice, and rock, with the crust's ice potentially reaching depths of up to 186 miles. Beneath this icy crust, it's speculated that Pluto might harbor liquid water. Indications of active geothermal formations and ice volcanism suggest that heat emanates from Pluto's core. Some theories propose that this core might produce sufficient heat to thaw a segment of the icy mantle, possibly concealing a briny, toxic ocean rich in dissolved ammonia beneath the dwarf planet's surface. Contrasting Earth, Pluto's geological activities are only partially driven by water, ice, and rock. Instead, this distant world primarily engages crystallized gases such as nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide in its geological processes. Beyond shedding light on Pluto's ancient terrains, New Horizons data also offers insights into its more contemporary features. Previously, the spacecraft identified vast methane reserves near Pluto's equator, some rivaling the height of Earth's tallest buildings. On Tuesday, scientists revealed additional evidence suggesting that these sharp, blade-like formations might also span to Pluto's unseen side, which remained unobserved during the 2015 flyby. These newly identified features enhance our comprehension of the mechanisms molding Pluto and other icy celestial bodies in our solar system. They underscore the intricate, evolving, and diverse nature of planetary terrains like that of Pluto, stated Ishan Mishra a postdoctoral researcher at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. The Tombaugh Regio. The most recognizable and extensively researched area on Pluto is the Tombaugh Regio, commonly called the heart of Pluto. This vast feature takes up roughly a fourth of Pluto's entire surface. The heart is split into two contrasting halves. The brighter left side, named Sputnik Planitia, 
and the darker right side. Sputnik Planitia is covered with nitrogen ice, carbon monoxide, and frozen methane. Its bright composition reflects up to 90% of incoming light, and its lack of craters suggests it's geologically young. This region likely originated from a massive collision about 100 million years ago, which left a vast hole later filled by substances from Pluto's warm interior. This resulted in a unique dynamic cellular structure. Recent findings from the James Webb Space Telescope show that the formations within Sputnik Planitia have noticeably shifted in the past eight years, pointing to ongoing geological activity. The area is encircled by mountain chains, such as the Hillary Montes and the even taller Tenzing Montes, which reach heights up to 3.72 miles above the surface of Pluto. These mountain ranges are mainly made of water ice, which becomes as hard as rock in Pluto's extreme cold. Moving further south, we encounter a pronounced basin that defines Pluto's landscape, bordered by towering ice formations and rocky outcrops. These features strongly hint at cryovolcanic activity. The nearby rock formations are likely remnants of past volcanic eruptions that have since solidified. The recent color-enhanced images have granted scientists a deeper understanding of the chemical makeup of these eruptions, shedding light on Pluto's internal architecture. The eastern section of the Tombaugh Regio presents a contrasting darker terrain. This area boasts an ancient landscape dotted with craters that likely date back billions of years, formed by asteroid or comet collisions. In contrast to the Sputnik Planitia, this region doesn't exhibit signs of active geological processes. As we journey east along the equator, we encounter a series of dark markings known as macula. This terrain is punctuated by towering mountain ranges that span hundreds of miles. The origin of these macula remains a mystery to scientists and astronomers. Their dark hue is believed to be a blend of impact craters and tholins. Tholins are intricate organic molecules birthed when high-energy radiation interacts with basic molecules in the atmospheres of celestial entities affecting their visual characteristics. Venturing northward, we transition from the enigmatic macula to the vast valley of Lowell Regio, which encircles Pluto's North Pole. Due to the pronounced tilt of Pluto's rotational axis relative to its orbital plane, this area is the most luminous on the celestial body. Intriguingly, Pluto orbits with its North Pole perpetually facing the Sun. This unique orientation might explain why Pluto's atmospheric density has surged threefold over the past three decades, even as it drifts further from the Sun. The prevailing theory suggests that sunlight causes the nitrogen ice to sublimate, accumulating at the pole and contributing to Pluto's atmospheric composition. Pluto's peculiar movements have a compelling explanation. Its unique orbit, which is notably tilted and oscillates around a central point, is influenced by its moon, Charon. Charon is relatively large, boasting a diameter of approximately 753 miles compared to Pluto's 1476 miles. The duo orbits each other with an average separation of around 12,172 miles. Their relationship more closely mirrors a binary system than a traditional planet-moon pairing. While Pluto dominates this celestial duo, this beautiful Marvel incident was first captured by New Horizons and remains a focal point of ongoing research. Charon isn't just sizable for a moon, it shares many characteristics with Pluto. However, its surface is notably darker. The reclassification of Pluto as a dwarf planet might have been a letdown for many. Still, the ongoing study of this celestial body has unveiled a realm of astonishing intricacy and allure. From its unique position in the Kuiper Belt, New Horizons is strategically positioned for observations that are only feasible from a spacecraft situated well beyond Uranus and Neptune, Stern remarked. Most spacecraft within our solar system can capture light reflected off the sides of the ice giants facing Earth. However, New Horizons has the advantage of gathering data on light that scatters from the planet's far sides. Scientists revealed that unlike the preliminary images captured in 2019, upcoming observations will be made as the planets rotate. Specialists believe the Kuiper Belt holds untapped potential for groundbreaking discoveries for many years ahead. As of now, we've only scratched the surface of this vast region in our solar system. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Pluto and the visuals provided by NASA. What do you think we might uncover in the Kuiper Belt? Could there be awe-inspiring, breathtaking, 
or even startling revelations in store. Chime in with your cosmic insights in the comments below. Enjoy the video. Give it a big bang, thumbs up, and rocket that subscribe button before you float away.